you are new here, my name is Alexis Barber. I'm a 22 year old living in New York City. I work full time for Google and I'm also a content creator with my own podcast called Too Smart For This, as well as on Instagram and TikTok at Alexis Barber. Today is Saturday, it is the end of February, it's February 27th and we are entering a new month. So I really wanted to share how I plan my goals for the following month and then the rest of this week will also just be living my life. My boyfriend actually moves to the city today, which is exciting, but it's a big transition because we've been long distance since about two years ago when he graduated from Northwestern. He's a year ahead of me. And so it's gonna be a big change um, just because we haven't been in the same place before. So I really wanna make sure my plans and my boundaries are all really like well thought out um, as we enter a new one. Because if you've been in a long distance relationship, you know that when you do see your significant other, you basically throw everything out the window for them. You essentially, like when you're together, like your diet doesn't matter, your food doesn't matter, your whether you work out that day doesn't matter because you're like really wanting to soak up as much time as possible with that person. And that mindset has been our mindset when we're together for the last two years. So we really need to come up with a new set of boundaries, etc. And I think that's starting with me figuring out what my non-negotiables are. And I did that through some self-reflection, so. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the templates I use. So these are the templates I created for myself, essentially so that I could plan my, my months and my days better. I have a daily one too, but the, these are the monthlies. And so essentially what I do is, first before this, I did some self-reflection where I just wrote out point blank in my journal how I felt about the previous month and what I wanted to do this month. And now I'm gonna take some time to set one big goal in all of these areas that I really wanna do in March. It all has to do with an intention that I'm setting for the month. And as well as I have space for notes and a habit tracker for what I actually do and don't get done. But for example, my self care one is gonna be journaling every day because even though Jeff is here, like if he sleeps over, if I sleep over at his place, I don't wanna let go of journaling just because he's here. Relationships, it's gonna be about finding a balance between friends and him and all the work I have to do. Finances, um, my tax return gets here this month, so it's about putting that to use in the best way possible, as well as other big things going on and then career wise like I want that we're hitting the six month mark at work I really want to take ownership and focus on the skills I really want to build health wise and getting my second dose of the vaccine at the end of the month but what do I really want to focus on so that I don't sacrifice it just because there's some a new change in my life and then personal will be about content creation I want to get a set number of brand deals and focus on doing really great content I set goals differently this time. I printed out my sheet, added my vision board, and added little tiles that I'm gonna check off when I'm done. These little post-its that I have, put them up on my board so that I can cross off when I get them done. If it's like a very tangible, bigger goal. And most of the goals that I put up there are actually like content creation focused because things like my job, you can't really like measure that as easily, and at least like on a post-it, so I don't put those up, but then I will also choose my affirmations for this month and I'll write them on my whiteboard. So that is my planning session for you. I do wanna say, I don't think I've emphasized enough how much the journaling self-reflection part of this is important because if you don't do that, you're not gonna know. Like I sat down and I thought to myself, like what did I learn in February? I learned that content creation is something I really like and I really am enjoying and I do really want to focus my time and energy on it and that it's monetizable, like that I can make money from doing this. And before that, I just hadn't really been in that mindset. And so now it's about taking this to the next level, building my brand, doing what I wanna do so that I can create something for myself with no end goal of like being a full-time influencer necessarily, but just in expanding, learning and like doing the work that I find interesting. So I didn't know that until like a month ago. So taking that with me and setting up new systems for achieving the goals and metrics that I want to in this line. And that's what I'm focused on right now. Like I said, the self-reflection part is so important. So get a journal, girl, you need it. And now I am going to write out the little goals and I'm also gonna write out my big goals. So happy Saturday, everyone. What I've had today, I won't lie to you, is sourdough toast and five Oreos. That's what more could you need?
vlog. I just went to Trader Joe's. My boyfriend got here last night. We both went so that he could get stuff for his new apartment and so I could get groceries for the week. So I'll show you what I got. Some kale. I'm making this kale shrimp pasta that I, or kale chicken pasta that I love this week. This butter lettuce because he and I are gonna have taco. We forgot taco shells. Ugh. I'm gonna meal prep some tilapia, rice, and veggies for lunch because I need to. More peppers for tacos, some onions for the pasta and for fajitas. I got this Trader Joe's brown rice, which is so good to have in the freezer for whatever you need. I think I might use it this week. I might do something else. More broccoli for my lunches, some heavy whipping cream for the pasta. I got some more butter, Kerrygold only. These are the chicken thighs I'm gonna use for my pasta tonight and tomorrow. Chicken fried rice, cause it's just always good to have in the freezer for like a quick meal. Finally, some salsa. So this isn't my favorite stuff that I always get from Trader Joe's, but it is the stuff that I'm using this week. I have a lot of stuff in the freezer, like planned out um, and stuff like that. So it's a lot easier for me to do my monthly meals. So there's the tea. Gonna go get donuts. Hey, we're going to go get some donuts, guys. We're so excited to be doing this right now. I think it's gonna be a great time. And honestly, all I wanna say is I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday on this beautiful, gorgeous, bright we're last, running late. last okay. day of February. Can you believe actually, it? Happy Black History Month. If you guys can believe that. It's so crazy. Like, okay. let me tell you guys a story about that. Yeah, get your shoes. Hello, it's Sunday. I look really crazy, but I wanted to talk a little bit more about my goal setting, which I showed you yesterday. There's also just like some bigger things that I just wanted to like write down and put in my spreadsheet for how I'm doing this month. So I haven't, I don't usually use a spreadsheet, but because I had so many thoughts this month, I just felt like it'd be helpful to put them all in one place. So what I've done is created a spreadsheet that has like my yearly goals, my monthly goals, as well as my weekly plans for those goals. So right now, these are the few things I wanna do this week. First week of March, I want to work out or hit 10,000 steps every day. I wanna eat at home Sunday through Thursday. So today until Thursday, I don't wanna order anything and I've already gone grocery shopping to make that happen. I wanna have one like social outing per week, which like I like to do and try to limit it to that. And then one day with Jeff every week. I want to get presents for my mom and my aunt and I want to call my family every week. I have my YouTube channel launching this week which is exciting um, and I want to be sure to have that. Some other things I want to do this month are I'm going to pay off all my debt which is great with my tax returns. So I'm going to be completely debt free which is cool. Not, not that I have a lot but you know um, still really exciting. Then I want to finish furnishing and decorating my apartment fully so I can feel like I'm completely home here for the next year because I will be here for another year and then I also want to consistently post every day but also give myself one day a week where I don't have to worry about content creation so hopefully that'll be next Saturday or Sunday today I'm not making myself post anything because it just doesn't feel good to me like I just feel a little mentally drained so that's really what it is. Um, let me show you this sheet. What I'm doing is making one for each item. So it's like overall goals, my brand partnerships, with my reach, as in like how many followers, my income for everything, my coaching and agency goals, my expansion goals, like things I wanna do outside of content creation, and this is like the goals for Q1 will go in this sheet, and then my March goals, have like an area of life as well as like everything I want to do in that like area and then I'm doing my week one goals here so personally financially relationships everything like these are the long big term goals here for example 10k followers are at 7.5 right now like this is what I need to do every single day to do that and then every day for example like i need to plan out my workouts so like tomorrow i'm working out at 5 p.m 
on Tuesday and working out at 3 p.m., 5 p.m., 4 p.m., 4 p.m., etc. And I made these decisions by looking at my calendar for the week and making those plans. So, etc. That is the that is the plan for all these things. This is the first month that I feel like I'm really settled in one place since March of 2020, honestly. Like, March of 2020, I was in... I didn't know what life was going to be like. It was just, like, this massive fear of, like, what's going to happen with this disease, with COVID, with everything. And I also had just gone through some really crazy personal stuff. And so I didn't feel, like, happy or safe or, like, I could really mentally make any goals. And then... I made the choice to go to San Francisco and that got flipped over on its head. Then I made the choice to go home to St. Louis and like that wasn't permanent. So moving here in January really solidified it being like my permanent place. And like last month in the month of February, like definitely felt like, of course, like this is my first like full month really being here because I was in Rwanda prior to that. And this month, Jeff is here. I have really decided to take content creation to the next level because it's something I really like and I really care about and I've also decided that I want to do well at my job too and I'm as hitting the six month mark at my job which is really crazy honestly like six months of work this week which is a lot because now it's like you can't play small anymore it's like you're not new to the team anymore like this is time for me to just like perform and my performance for the next six months is going to really be important for what i want to do long term within google too prior to this i was being measured on like whether or not i met expectations or like how i was like responding to new changes within the company and now i'm being measured on a whole nother level and it's important that I get a good rating in September when I do face the performance cycle again. At least it's important to me. And it's also important to me that I use my resources while I have them at Google because onboarding virtually has made it to a point where I'm like, I want to network, I want to meet people, I want to do all this stuff. But because of the culture of virtual onboarding, a lot of people are just like not into that. So. I need to sort of let that go and then just like really make a point. I think the big goal for me this month is to be present in everything I do. So it's like when I'm working at Google, I'm not also answering emails on the side for my Instagram. When I'm hanging out with my boyfriend, I'm not also making TikToks or texting other people or FaceTiming other people because I want to just be more like whatever I'm doing, I want to be giving it 100% instead of doing 400 things and giving them all 20%. So that's my goal for this month. I will take you through how that sort of looks. But this is my like rant. The Golden Globes are on at 8. Um, I think before that I'm going to do... I don't know if I should do a shower and a face mask before or after. But I feel like it's like 2 hours long. So I'll just want to watch it from bed. And it's 6 p.m. now, so I think I will take a long shower, listen to a podcast, and do some skincare, like some rich mom skincare, and then I'll be ready to go. This is my... <laughs> and I like went, I went in and deleted that recently, I was certain sign. Yeah, and also like Leo, like sometimes... Sunday skincare, clearly doing this mask, and I wanted to show you how I plan my content for the week as well, because in addition to having my full-time job, I'm also a content creator. So here's what I'm doing, it's very basic. So here's what I'm doing. I'm essentially writing it out every week, every day of the week of what I need to do. So it's like on Monday, tomorrow, for example, I'm gonna post these two TikToks 
that I need to edit in the morning. And then on Instagram, I have an IGTV because my first vlog is coming out. On Instagram, I'm doing an in-feed post and I'm doing a reel that's going to be the same content recreated. Then my vlog will go up tomorrow. I have my podcast on my podcast Instagram. I want to post Happy Women's History Month content creation. I have a podcast recording and then I need to vlog. I do that for every day this week. That way I know what I'm posting and when. And in the places that I can, I also try to draft those posts on Instagram. So that's how it looks, how we're going. But a number of black actors and black-led projects were overlooked. Look, we all know that award shows are stupid. And that's why we have Black History Month. Because we to get coffee i woke up i could not sleep last night like i literally fell asleep woke up at 3 30 and couldn't sleep again until 4 30 and then it was like not real sleep after that you know so now here i am i walked to panera to get the free coffee again put it in my yeti thank god and now i am gonna get started on the influencer work i set my goals for march to be more present and one of those ways is doing my influencer work at the couch or at my little table, and then doing my Google work at my desk so that I can have a separation and like train my mind to focus on the most important thing in the most important space. So here we are, that's the tea. I have a lot of meetings today. I have a podcast recording. I have a late night meeting because they scheduled something at from seven to eight my time, which is happening three times this week, so it's okay. When that happens, I just spend more of my morning working on my own stuff, so that's what I'm gonna do, and yeah. any other form of like self-care hey team it's Wednesday why am I saying hey team I sound like a I sound like a football coach it's Wednesday I've got a lot to do I woke up early in a journal as you saw and then I just filmed some YouTube videos I'm gonna try I think and think more about them and refilm them later tonight because I just want to be more intentional. I am now about to get started at work. I have this really cool interview today that I'm hoping goes really well, which is essentially at Google, you can spend 20% of your time on another project that like really interests you outside of your core role. And I found one that seems really cool. So I'm talking to the head of that team today and I'm really excited to see how that goes. And otherwise, exciting days coming forward. Jeff will probably come over later tonight. I don't. Ha I only have two meetings today, which is really nice. So I'm gonna use my time wisely to try to get everything done that I want. Yeah, I'm just talking. I am feeling really overwhelmed with all the things I need to do at work and outside of work. So I'm just gonna show you what I do when I get really, when there's like too much to think about. So I needed to get it all out of my head and on paper. So I just grabbed a piece of paper, made the three big things that I needed to do and wrote them all out. I'm sending out a launch email for my first launch for like something I did. I'm really nervous because this is my first one and it was surprisingly really hard to write this email because I've never done one before and I feel like my manager thinks I'm literally stupid because it took so much to wrap this irrelevant email that no one's really gonna read, but here we go. You know those TikToks where they're like, I'm changing my email style to sound like a man and then it's like, they're really anxious shaking their cup. That's exactly how I feel right now. So here we go. Okay, I did it.
Hi everyone, it's Thursday. I feel like I haven't done anything interesting at all this week because I've just been working and I have a ton of work today too. I showed you a little bit yesterday about how I like deal when I'm a little bit anxious, but was super anxious last night. I hosted a clubhouse with Cam and Sammy and then I went to bed at nine because I had a really bad headache even though my boyfriend was over, so I feel bad because I couldn't hang out with him. But then now I have a few packages to unbox. And I'm gonna show you what I got from Sweet Reason, which is this incredible like CBD company. They do these CBD drinks that you can like drink instead of wine or whatever. They're so good. I don't know what I got from Tula. Tula is a brand I also work with. They are awesome, and I love any form of skincare. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, okay, we've got some gummy vitamins. This is brighten up. All over there. Some more, a mask, okay. So what's this? Primer gel, ooh. And then fruit enzyme mask. Stunning, okay. Love it. I'm gonna send some of my extra Tula products to my friend Courtney this week so she can try. That's all. Is this vlog just gonna be me sitting in the exact same place doing the exact same thing every day? Probably. But it's Thursday evening. I had a bunch of meetings. I went to pick up a prescription. I have so much to do at work. And I'm excited, but I'm overwhelmed. And I have a dream job consult right now. So the way I prepare for this is I have two things. I have a spreadsheet that I give all of my clients for them to really do some self-reflection on what they want and places for them to figure out the roles they've researched and put them in one place. And I also have notes documents for my plans for them. We do a LinkedIn audit, we do a resume audit, and we go after whatever dream that they're interested in doing. It's exciting. And then after that, I have a work happy hour. My teeth hurt really bad, which is annoying. <sighs> I'm just overwhelmed. It's a lot. And after this happy hour, I'm really gonna relax. I haven't posted on TikTok or Instagram today, so I feel a little bit like a failure, but it's okay. Work took priority today and that's what matters. I might figure out a way to do a post in a few minutes if I can get everything done. And I'm answering emails too. So much to do. Good morning, it's Friday. Literally, I can't. So I'm gonna show you how I get ready in the morning. Like, so the moment I roll out of bed, I have my outfit for the day, always sitting down. So I'm already dressed, which is good for getting up. And now I have to turn this hair into something else. And then I'll do my skincare routine, make my coffee, do the drilling, you know the deal. I sprayed with my mister and I went in with my curl scream. Love this shit, it smells so good. Go in with that to moisturize. Then Ego Styler to calm down the frizz on top. Take this brush, do that. And blah. Stunning. Now we're gonna do skincare. I don't like to wash every day in the winter. So I'm starting with this toner. Um, here I did stone. Literally, if you follow LA Beautyologist on Twitter, then you know what I'm about, but I've used this toner for like years at this point. Like she put me on. Even though it's not very aesthetically pleasing, it's new. So then we're gonna do hyaluronic acid and niacinamide, both very important for hydration and for getting rid of my hyperpigmentation that comes from me having any sort of like hormonal acne because that's all the acne I get. And ever since I went to Rwanda, like I guess three, two months ago now, my skin reacted really crazy to the environment there, which is just a normal clear environment but either way so I really had to like 
step up my hyperpigmentation game after that. Honestly, like, I'm a lazy person. Like, I don't want to do all this right when I wake up, but I do it anyway because my skin is really important to me, and that's the tea. Then after that, it'll be time for moisturizer and sunscreen. Also wanted to talk about vitamin C. So vitamin C um, serum is something that can be used with niacinamide according to the Black Skincare Twitter. I have these two. I have the like serum and I have the cream. I don't know if I like this cream in the morning. I'll, I just do this like every other day sometimes. So we'll do it today. It's Friday. We need some excitement in our lives. There we go. Here's the cream. Smells amazing. Love that for us. Okay. Stunning. I'm gonna moisturize with my Tula 24-7 moisturizer, which is the perfect light moisturizer for the morning. And it also like is great for winter. And I take it on the back of my nail and just do all that. And then once I do that, I will do sunscreen. So I have two sunscreens I really like. One that I really like for summer and one I really like for winter. So I like my black girl sunscreen for a quick moment because it can also in my humble opinion serve as a moisturizer and that's this one it's just like thicker in the summer I like to use that so I'm not doing moisturizer and sunscreen but in the winter which is right now I mean it's just 24 degrees outside I like to do the two little one um, this also has UV and UVB protection I think it protects from blue light too which is amazing and I learned this for a makeup for, for WOC on Twitter, the two finger rule of sunscreen to help with hyperpigmentation. So you're gonna go like this. One, two. So if you see me in my TikToks when I'm putting this on, that's what I'm doing. And it's because y'all think that you can just slam out a little dot of sunscreen on your face and you're gonna be fine. Well, you're not. So, think again, buddy. So this is how we do it. And that's how I get my skin together in the morning. And that's BT. I'm ending the vlog here. I don't know that this has been the most exciting vlog, but it's the truth of everything. I am ending this week on a really good note and I'm really happy about that because I've gotten another brand deal which I'm excited for. I think next week I'll take you through the process of shooting content for brands and what that it looks like. And this week was just like a lot of transitioning and putting my head down and doing the work. So that's where we're at now. And next week will be a little bit more of that. We'll hopefully be a little bit more exciting too because my boyfriend will be done interviewing so we can hang out and I'll have more fun things to do. But for now, I love you all. Please subscribe, stay around, follow me on other social medias, and don't forget, you are